Okay, welcome back to World of Xen. Um, so I, um, I hear, hope I think I turned the uh, volume of the game a bit down, so you can hear my voice better. Uh, actually, I don't know if it's a good or bad thing for you, but uh, you'll have to live with it, I guess. Okay, let's see where we are here. Um, okay, so last time we cleaned up the town of Vertigo and we cleaned up the dwarf mines. And so, um, what we're gonna do now is so, first of all, we're gonna train because we've got like a level or two. And um, I think um, it's pretty important at this point that we get all the levels we can get, given that we're very vulnerable otherwise. Two more levels for Ninja, and two more levels for our Ranger. It's awesome. And there's even like, you know, we don't need so much more experience for the next level. Alright, um, what's next? Um, so we have 20,000 gold, so one thing I want to get is pathfinding for our ninja, which was here. The ranger already has pathfinding, and so what this allows us, allows us is to um, travel through the thick forest. Um, which might come in handy. And um, so that's that. And now um, what I want to get is two things. One is the skill for the uh, finding the hidden doors, um, which I think we can get outside. Oh, yeah. And um, the other one is I want to go to River City where if we clean up the main quest there, there's a fountain that will uh, give us plus 100 spell points. And that can come in really handy as well. But before we do that, I want to go to the guild and see if we can get any more sp useful spells for our ranger. Um, and um, I wonder... So there's something I'm looking for in particular, which is jump. Yeah, jump. Let's get a jump. Um, jump allows us to jump over one square, so this will allow us um, to jump over traps, for example. Um, it's like Pullman's teleport in a way, and um, it's the best we can get, and it will come in really handy. The other thing. I haven't seen yet in the guild was Levitate. Um, we'll need that as well. Hopefully we can get that maybe in River City. Alright. Okay, so... Um, oh yeah, and the other thing we can get in River City, the other reason I want to go there is because uh, we can uh, learn to swim and then we can cross these water squares and maybe even uh, go back to that mine. The, wine, the mine that had water in it. And just clear that up. Okay, so here we have a cart. Spot Sigurdors, yes! Yes! I want that. Awesome. Okay, that was really annoying me. Okay, here we have these insects. Uh, they're not too bad. There's a shrine here. Elemental shrine. Oh, what is that? Plus 20 resistance to the elements. Um, but that is temporary. We don't see it here, but it's temporary. So, um, 5 a.m. in the morning it will wear off. Some of 
these guys, huh? Stonehenge kind of thing. I am the Spring Druid. I require the last snowflake of winter before I can give you the last raindrop of spring and your reward. Without the snowflake, I cannot end winter. Alright. We need to find the snowflake. That is for later. Okay, so here is the guy who brings us to um, River City, but before I do that... I think there's something here that I want. Come on, die! The party needs rest. Oh my god, okay. Right, the merchant. So... This is, this is quite expensive, uh, 6,000 gold. But if we get the merchant skill, what this will allow us is... Um, It will allow us to sell equipment for twice the price. And so um, we will get these 6,000 gold back very quickly. And just for convenience, I'm gonna give this good to both of them so I don't need to like look with whom of them are selling my stuff. Um, and I can afford it at this point. Okay, so here we can get to River City for 100 gold. So do that. And there we are. Okay, so these insane beggars are what they're called. Pretty easy. Alright, now I think here is... no, this guy can bring us back. Not interesting at the moment. And this is the swimmer. And now the human can swim already, but the elf cannot. And now she can. And now, as you can see, you can walk on the water. Very useful. Okay, so now let's just go back to this um, mine four to um, just finish that up real quick. There was like a part here that we couldn't do because we couldn't swim. Oh, apparently the spider can swim as well, huh? Aha, uh -huh, and here we would have travel code, but we got the travel code also already um, earlier. Nothing too useful here. No spiders. Yeah, Two thousand gold. It was already not so bad. Oh, and then this is just the exit of the mine. Alright, okay. Um, okay, so we did that. We did that. I promised I would forget about it, but I didn't. Alright. And now, we're gonna go back to River City. And this time I'm just gonna use the mirror. Given that we have been there on the normal, let's say the normal way, right? There we go. Okay. What did you expect, money? Yes, I totally did. And I think some of these trees might even have some. Oh, chainmail. Or other things. So it's still worth uh, searching. Chainmail. Street fight. No, this is, this is the training here. And then there's these guys. These guys are really tough. Uh, so I'm not going to take them on yet. Yeah. 
tavern so we can talk to these guys. The tavern hired the sorceresses to run Barak out of town. Okay, we still have to find out who Barak is. Real adventurers try deep mine alpha. Wow, we've been there already. If Barak ever got his pendant back, this place might charge me for drinks. Okay, this uh, Barak seems to be the guy here. If you like to fight, say war sound. Huh. Let's see about that. Now this is a wild town. If you say the name of a town to a mirror, it will take you there. Yeah, we already figured that out. Okay. Oh, robber. Is someone robbing the, uh, the inn here. There's another one. Good. Acidic Cutlass. Huh. So this is interesting. I'm gonna keep this Acidic Cutlass. So I would imagine the silver one is still doing more damage, but the Acidic one is gonna do elemental damage. And this will come in handy later. So I'm just gonna keep it around for now. And those bronze boots. No, I don't think they're any good. So I have 17 armor class. If we exchange the bronze boots, then we're going down to 16. So we don't want that. Alright. Oh, more rubber, so. Huh? I don't think that is anything anything good. No. Pretty useless. Okay. Okay, that's the tavern. So here's the fountain that will be able to give us town spell points once we um, complete the quest here. School of Navigation, 9 North. Yeah, navigation, that's another skill that we'll need sooner or later. Um. Okay, well, let's explore that in a bit. For now, let's see, we see a Barak. Oh, we've heard about this guy. The sorceresses of River City have stolen a magical pendant of mine. I want it back, and I will reward you if you return it. That's all, huh? Not too much to say to that. Jewel. Jewel Awakening. Why do we always get these stupid spells? Look what he did to us. Now we're insane. And it's funny because look, if you're insane, it actually it improves some of your stats. So you get more speed and more might. Which is actually pretty good for fighting. And we reduce uh, intellect and personality. But on this guy we don't need those anyway because those give you spell points, but this guy's not a caster. And then accuracy also goes down a bit. Alright. Okay. Don't need to clear that status effect up anytime soon. More robbers. So Barok said the sorceresses stole the pendant, huh? The sorceresses who um, we haven't seen any sorceresses here yet. Marcher training. Finding a symbol, I teach you to be an arms master in one easy lesson for 300 gold. I actually don't know what this does. Probably improves the damage a bit or something like that. Um, it does not change what kind of weapons you can use. 
but um, but yeah. Ah, the gym. So here we can have bodybuilding. That just that just improves your. It's not a skill that improves your health points a bit. I can't hurt. So now we got here 96 on this guy and 84 on the elf. And if we learn bodybuilding, down to 91 for the elf and 104 for the ninja. Yeah, better than nothing. We've got the gold. Still got 10,000. Are a good, uh, good um, income source. They, you kill one of them and you get 200 gold. Okay, what do we have here? Pray and pay. <laughs> so that's a Templar. Huh? for the sorceresses we need to get buffed up. But um oh these guys Oh now both of us are insane. Alright. Okay. Um still nothing. Is this the navigator? Yeah that's the navigation skill. Okay. So the navigation skill, um, we will um, also learn right now. So the navigation skill helps us with um, crossing the desert. If you don't have navigation, then you cross the desert. It takes even more time than it, alre than it already takes. I don't know, it takes like hours for a single square or something. It's insane. We don't want to do that. Guild membership. I found gold. Sure. We might get some useful spells here. Even though I'm still also um, thinking that quite a few spells you can also learn. You can just find them in random places, in dungeons and so on. But, um, okay, and here, uh, here we got mountaineering. So this we will need to cross these mountains that we've already seen. Um, okay, there. Um, we do not have enough gold to uh, teach uh, both of us the mountaineering at this point, so I will uh, wait with that for now and uh, do that later. Okay, so what next? We haven't found the guild yet. That's okay. I think the first thing I want to do here is... This area here. Wow! Oh no, nah. this is so insane. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna close this, rest. Still insane, huh? Honestly. I might need to queue that in the temple. Um, and open it again. And then we take out these guys. They do more damage than I expected. Oh, that's of course because my stuff is broken again, no? Fifty million points. Yeah, actually I might need... I might yeah, we haven't even been to the shop yet. Oh my god, the shop is also being robbed. Soon we'll have the gold for the mountaineering just by killing these robbers. Iron crossbow. Okay, so this is some nice stuff actually. Coral broadsword, dragon slayer. So here we only have. We have the silver cutlass. Coral. Iron crossbow. So. 
so I'm gonna get the iron crossbow. I think that's better than the long door that we have. And the flickering saber? Can only be used with this guy, okay. Um, yeah, the ninja class doesn't have access to a lot of the... a lot of the... Um, items here. Weapons, okay. Repair the stuff. Sell some more stuff. Any weapons to sell? <laughs> One gold. Okay, now let's actually see. So the long bow does 5 to 10, and this iron crossbow six. Okay. Well, it is a bit better. Not sure I would have bought it if I knew that. I thought it was better improvement. Okay, the Jewel of Awakening. I don't need all this Awakening stuff. And this sells for 1000. I think we're done here for now. Iron, iron crossbow. And let's go to the temple and just um, get rid of this stupid insanity. And while we're here, it's, it's 119. Why don't we rest now? Heal. Is more expensive than the other one. Does it give us better? No, it gives us the same kind of improvements. Alright. Anyway, so that should be good enough to take on these thieves. regular one. Bronze helm. So my my guy here, my girl, does not have a helmet yet. 16 armor class. We wear the bronze helmet. 17. Sure, let's do it. regular one. Okay. Coral chain mail, so that could be interesting. Seventeen armor class. And if we replace this print mail with this thing, still 17, okay. Then we'll keep this print mail because the core one probably sells for more. For more. Plate mail. And these, these trees, they have a ton of. Alright, well, we will drink. And now you see that both of these heads are shaking? Which means it's not a good idea to drink. I um, don't know what's gonna happen, and I, and I don't want to find out. Jewel. So I'm looking for some of these jewels and things with decent spells. First aid is not bad, especially if my ranger is uh, unconscious or something. I can use that to um, uh, wake, him up, wake him up again, wake her up again. 
But, uh, yeah. Oh my god, these stupid doors. Ah. Okay. Time to heal. Before we take these guys out. stuff that I found. Scale armor, better than nothing. Oh, black guy. This is where you would kind of need the more powerful uh, healing spells. Because if it just takes a turn for every time you cast first aid, then. Ah! <laughs> Alright, that was too much. Um, I didn't, don't know where the other two came from. I should have taken on one at a time there. So I didn't have to come from there. Okay, so what do I need to deal with these guys? Let's at the very least um, um, heal as much as we can. Maybe I should get some damage spells for the ranger, but like I think they just don't do very much damage. Alright. What do we have here? I don't really have anything other than the energy blast. What we can try is to help box of sleeping. Yeah, it didn't do anything, huh? I think I can do three of these. Okay, last charge on the energy burst. I'm out of spell points. Oh, but they are down to one of them. So that's good. Come on, die! Die! Yes! Ton of items. Okay, so minus nine hit points. So I think that leaves our armor intact. So your armor starts breaking and go below below minus ten. Okay. Amber longsword. That could be good. And then a poisonous cut. So this I'm also gonna keep. Unfortunately the ninja cannot use the grand axe. That would probably be also be a really good weapon. Um, okay, so I'm probably going to use the longsword. I have this identified in the, in, the, in, the, in the shop. Lucky brooch. Okay, that sounds good. It's going to 
This is going to improve our luck. So you have 20 luck without that thing. We equip it. 40! Wow! That's huge. Maybe that helps to not get uh, so much damage when opening these... Uh, these um, What's it called? These gates and things. Maybe. Could be. Okay. What are you on? Um what are we gonna do here? Let us play down. Okay. Do we want do we wanna actually buy anything? I don't think I need anything. So we don't need that thing. We need two things fixed. No, this is what you want to wear. And here, so we're gonna keep this this poisonous thing again for the elemental damage that we'll probably um, need later. And here. See how good the sword is. Six to twelve, and this thing was six to also six to twelve. Well, okay then. I'm gonna sell the thing that's more expensive. Okay, but now there might be more of these robber bosses waiting for us, and. We are out of spell points and we are out of hit points. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rest and get uh, buffed up again. Six day, that costs quite some money, but uh, we can afford it. Okay, now it is almost 9 p.m. That's good enough to clean up those rubbers. Okay. Here. Nice. Five thousand gold, okay. Uh -huh. Small guys in here. Yeah, one of them I can take easily. Uh, pretty tough. Bah. And somehow there's always like another one appearing from nowhere. That sounds good. So we have 18 armor class. If we replace these uh, leather boots with the steel boots, we go up to 22. That's not bad. And then we go, oh, we get a poisonous ring and a static belt. So what they do, they improve our resistances. A static belt is probably electricity, and the poisonous thing is a poison resistance. Okay, looks like we're done here. Princess Roxanne's tiara. Oh, okay. I have no idea what that's for. But we'll find out. We have not gotten that quest yet. Okay. What's next? The sorceresses, son. While we have these buffs, it would probably be a good idea to see at least to see at least um, whether we can take them on or not. I am not sure we can. Okay, so this here is the guild. 
and I'm not gonna bother with the guild for now. I think I first want to see if I can find some of the sp interesting spells, um, some dungeons. Okay, so let's see how we are dealing with the sources. Let's see. Fire damage, huh? So we could we could cast protection from elements fire. Did that actually do anything? Okay, it looks like we can handle them. Although they do a fair bit of damage. Ah, okay, so here you see this um, upper left gem here that turned from red to green. And it means that we've got the fire the fire protection. And um, it's also going to wear off at 5 in the morning. So we'll have it for a while. Probably by then my. Spell points are going around anyway. So the sorceresses have this uh, pendant or whatever that was from this guy Barak. Wand. Scimitar. Iron scimitar. Hmm. Wonder if that's any good. Try to get that identified. And then we got this uh, wand of sparking. Okay, that could be useful. Sparks is like a damage spell. Well, we've got the shaking heads, so let's not even try. Okay, let them come. Oh, there's some more. Oh, ah, these horses are easier than I thought. Magic pendant. There we go. That would be good. And then there's a bit more here. Wow, there's a ton of these beggars. They don't do any damage. Oh, what is this? <laughs> one gold, one gem. Okay. Well, if nothing else, it's a ton of experience for a ninja. And of course, he's knocked out again. 
Oh wow, that was quite some experience here, overall. And looks like I need to go back to the smithy to get stuff repaired here. Hmm. That's annoying. This happens all the time. Wait, why? Oh. Did I not put that back on last time? Well, <laughs> at least it's not broken now, so there's that. Okay, so I think we're done here. Thank you for returning my pendant. Please accept the ancient item spell as your reward. I will also return the drinking fountain to normal. Yeah, to normal, like that's the... Normal is the uh, thing where it gives you some spell points. Ancient item. So I guess my ranger just kind of learned that, huh? Well, it's not too useful for spell anyway. You'll find good enough items. So Okay, so now here we got this well, and if you drink it, we got plus 100 spell points. So that's pretty much... And now we can basically just sit there and heal. I should get those more powerful healing spells. I think that we'll come back to this fountain um, fairly often throughout the remainder of the... at least on cloud side. Um, Alright. So the tree I haven't searched yet. Another silver cutlass, so I have one of those. Okay, so the silver cutlass is 6 to 12, and the iron similar 4 to 12. So the iron thing is not even that good. And this thing that we have, similar. Oh, okay, we don't need this brass crap. We can fix these things. Don't need the leather boots. Iron charm. Is that doing anything? No. Okay, so I have a ton of sleeping stuff and don't think I'll use I'll use too much of that. Okay. Um can you buy anything useful? Lapis scale armor. Maybe the lapis scale armor will be good. But I think we'll find something. Something like that soon enough. Okay, what next? So. Train, huh? You've got quite a bit of experience. So now we are level 10 and level 9. That already gives us 3 attacks per round. And a ninja, that's pretty good. 2 attacks in the ranger. 42 spell points. Yeah. Yeah, slowly getting there. The thing is, the ranger just, like, the spells that she can get is only the low power ones, so I don't need a ton of spell points. Except there are some spells where the cost, the spell point cost, increases with the level. But not only the cost, but also the effectiveness of the spell. And that could be useful. That might be the only reason why I want uh, actually a high, a high number of spell points. Um, I don't think I have any of those spells. Oh, I do. The protection, protection from elements is one of those. So I'm level 9 with her. 
and um, that's why it uh, costs 9 spell points here. Okay, so now that we got this, so, th so the only other thing left here is these young knights here. Um, but I'll take those on a little later when I have a little better equipment and maybe another level or two, because they're pretty tough. Um, what I want to do now is explore the outside a bit more. The outside and where to go. So we go back to where to go. And oh, no, there's one more thing. Wait, let's go back to River City. Um, because now we got all these skills to cross water, to cross uh, the thick forest, and now we also have enough gold to get the mountaineering. Which means that now we'll also be able to cross mountains. Example, you could now. What is that? Some snake. There's a statue here. The statue repels you. Ooh. Okay. Shrine of poison. Plus 50 poison resistance. Okay. Ah, look, that's also not a neat trick. Like, if your opponent can't swim. You can just keep shooting at them from the water. Oh my god, these toads are tough. I wonder if I can take them on in the melee. Inside the battle you find a scroll with the ancient item spent. Oh, there we go. Scroll of I can only use it once. So, um, let's see if we can use that or not. One of the statues, which also repels us. And there's this guy here. A couple of years ago, I built a statue on each of the two islands near here. Yeah, we found them. Huh? The statues are supposed to teach spellcasters to cure poison and cure disease spells. But I lost the bone whistle needed to activate them. I think I dropped it somewhere in Pitchfork Creek. If you can find my whistle, I will activate the statues. Okay, so that would be really good, because cure poison is something, for example, that would have come in very handy in those dwarf mines, and I'm sure it will come in handy uh, later as well. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Water of powers. Plus 25 hit points. Sure. So where's this pitchfork? thing. What's this guy? Derek the Ranger. Oh look, another ranger. I am searching for my intended bride, Celia. She was tending her family's sheep when zombies snatched her and disappeared into the forest of the Walking Dead. The forest is so large and the zombies so many, I only tell to rescue her before they turn her, her into one of them. Help me, please. Of course. <laughs> Alright. Wishing well. Who will toss a call? So this is this kind of forest that you need the um, Pathfinder skill for to 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 traverse. And this is a skeleton. That's also a bit tougher than I would like. This is a zombie, so this must be this forest of the Walking Dead, where we have to find Celia. Waters of Magic, plus 25 spell points. Take that, but we have a better one in River City anyway. Okay, so this thing here looks like a pitchfork, doesn't it? Um, let's 
so we might have found Pitchfork Creek and I hope that uh, we can find this uh, whistle or whatever the guy was looking for here. Yeah, and that is the reason why I didn't want to buy these spells in the guild, because you can often find them, find them otherwise. Sifting through the dust, you find a piece of bone carved into a whistle. Yeah, that's it. And what's that? You found a horrible shrine to the undead. Desecrate. Yes. You ruined the altar and destroyed the furnishings. Plus 5,000 experience. The party needs to rest. Alright. Oh. Oh, look. In Malay, we can actually take them on pretty easy. Maybe. Oh, now we are already cured of the weak condition. Fountain of Ability. Plus five levels. Ooh, that's of course only temporary. But it will. It's used uh, a huge boost in uh, fighting. Formulae and um, okay. Oh yeah, this was the guy with Celia. We don't have her yet, but fifteen thousand experience and much more importantly, the statue teaches you the cure poison spell. The statue teaches you the cure the sea spell. Okay, so now that we have these levels. I'm sure we can take on these toads. Yeah, it still takes a few hits. Fiona plant to go? Yes. Yeah, there was this uh, lady just out of, just outside of the town Vertigo. Went one of those. So there's a tower here. Without the proper key to this tower. You may not pass, mortals. Tja, okay. I'm sure we will find the keys. So this black stuff here on the side, that's the end of the world. So it's seen as a flat world. And um, that's the end of the world. So um, let's take care to not drop all of that. And then there's this little, you can even see it here on the map, like this little area here at the edge where you need the teleport spell to go to. And I kind of forgot what's there. There actually, actually there might be something for the very late game. I think there's something that we need to get to for the very late game. Um, we'll see. See how we do that. Okay, um, there was another hut here, wasn't there? Yes. I'm just an old woman, but before I die, I wish to see the witches of Toad Meadow destroyed. You see, when I was still a young maiden, I fell asleep in Toad Meadow. When I awoke, I found a unicorn laying down beside me. Her name was Falister, and she was fleeing from a band of witches who were trying to capture her. Since the day I have kept Falister safely hidden. But now she has disappeared. I feel the worst. The worst has happened, and the witches have killed her for her eloquence magic. 
Here's the key to the tower. Go quickly. No, there we go. Okay, so if we go now... Oh, no, it's too late. We're not gonna keep those levels. Party needs to rest. Um, okay, so let's cast Revitalize to remove that condition. And at least we have our hit points, so um, let's see how far we get, I would say, without any further... any further buffs. Okay. Goblin. They totally seem doable. Feed me the skull demands, toss them. Sure. Don't forget to use the levitate spell before you enter the cloud world, the skull says. Uh, very useful. Here we can go up. Um, oh my god. It's diseased. Well, guess what? We can't fix that. But before I do that, I just let me explore the rest of the place. Oh, look, there's a kid. A boy crawls out of the cage. Thanks for getting me out of there. I thought the witches were going to turn me into a goblin for sure. I want to go home. Plus 5,000 experience. Goblins are easy. Oh, I'm not sure we are going to have the witches later. Flamberg. Yeah, but also just like a regular one. Yeah, I'm sure like this stuff here is just some even more. But that's not actually something we could try. We could try to enchant that splint mail with that spell we found. I'm not going to use it anyway, otherwise. So what did that do? Nothing. Great. 15 armor class. I have no idea what that did. Anyway, let's uh, cure disease and proceed. So I think this is also a rather low level dungeon. Maybe we should have come here before River City, but I really wanted to get this. Uh, Swimming skill and so on. Another boy. A boy crawls out of the cage. Thanks for getting me out of there. I thought the witches were going to turn into a goblin. Alright. Same as before, I guess. Oh, wow. Okay. 
too bad. Maybe all this stuff. I'm sure it's gonna get me sick again. Feed me, for sure. Goblins back to work, the scholarships. Well, there's no goblins left, so bad luck. I think that rags. Grand axe, cannot use that. At least not with a ninja. At least not with a ninja. Anyway, okay. So now, oh my god. Okay, so now here we have the witches, huh? Wicked witch. And they are a bit tougher than the goblins, but also doable. For 10 times, I'll teach you the lightning bolt spell. Well, why not? Uh, at least now I have a damage spell. I think lightning bolt is not even so bad. Might well be one of the best ones I can actually learn with the ranger. And here we have toxic cloud spell. Yeah, why not? I'm not sure if that one's very useful, but... Oh my god! Let's see if we can take them on. So you know what, we just got this uh, spell, lightning bolt. Why don't we try it out? 18 spell points, look at that. So this is also one of these spells that gets um, better and more expensive with your levels. And I'm level 9, so this uh, spell point cost is twice my level. And so let's see if that's uh, worth anything. Huh, it hit just one of them. Yeah, we can do them, even without spells. Feed me. For ten times, I'll teach the clairvoyance spell. Why not? Clairvoyance. I think it's the one that makes these... Uh, he actually, I might use that for these cauldrons here, but I think that's the one that makes these heads uh, shake or not. Beast Master spell. No. No idea what that is. I don't think it's useful. For five turns, I'll teach you the pain spell. Now, you know what I'm really looking for here? Sleep spell. No. What would be really nice to get is levitate. Okay, so there's a, there's a boy in the middle here. A boy crawls out of the cage. Thanks for getting me out of there. I thought the witches were going to turn into goblins. Okay, same thing as before. Okay, so what do we have here? So now I might actually cast clairvoyance. Yeah, okay, so now it says one shakes, one not, so it will probably be both good and bad. Broadsword katana. Wow, that cost me 35 hit points. So I'm going to heal up a bit again. Plus one all statistics permanent. That's not bad. God, look at that. All my stuff is cursed. Yeah, it's not too useful. So those are... Uh, this is um, these witches. Doing the cursing. Okay, that was... That was lame. Chainmail. Did I 
There must be one other one that gives you like plus one on all stats, and I want to get that with the I want to get that with the ninja this time. Ah, okay, I think I'm gonna rest. There you go. Okay, I think I've got all of them. 500k experience. Oh wow, but he still needs a ton more, so this is not a point. So basically up to level 10 it's pretty easy to get levels. And roughly from then on, for every additional level, you will need um, you will need uh, 1 million experience for the next level. Um, so the leveling will slow down a bit from now on. Okay, so we got a ton of things. Um, but I still have to levitate spell. So now both of them are shaking their heads, so I probably don't want that. one more and uh, I don't know if you can see it but like she's blinking or something so I'm sure that is like the boss the head witch yeah. I don't know what she's doing to us cursed yeah so she does not only curse our items Actually, our characters. Um, but we're all gonna get that fixed. And I have so much stuff here. Silver broadsword. That might be quite good. Okay, but we'll take care of that on the back. Feed me. So both. You know? You are the fairest one of all. Let's search this thing. Nice. Same thing for her. Still only forty two spell points. Seven thousand five hundred gold, and again a ton of items. I mean, you can't carry any more armor, huh? Warp of wizard eyes. Don't think that will be very useful. Okay, here's another boy. A boy crawls out of the cage. You have saved me. Do you know how to get out? The witches have taken me all over this place, and I know that one of the doors needs a password to get through it. He lowers his voice and says, it's Rosebud. That's what those things And I think that we'll just skip. And um, say the magic word in an awkward secret order. Rosebud. 
Correct, the secret door is now open. And here we've got the horn. Okay, so we did not get the um, levitate spell. So if we want to go up here into the cloud, the cloud world. Hoppy, we can't. Oh my god. We're maybe. Oh, okay. We cannot really do that yet because to get on these clouds we need a levitate spell. And we also need to be careful of uh, it wearing off. Um, there might be a few useful things up here, but overall I think it's not really mandatory to go here. But I'll keep it in mind for when we get levitate. Maybe I should just try to see if the, rivers, the river, river city guild has it. Okay, for now we bring back the no south here. We bring back this horn. You have destroyed the witches, and for that I am grateful. For your gallant deeds, adopt the all crusaders. Now I must take the alacorn, for I can find Falista. I believe the healing power of the alacorn is strong enough to resurrect her. Sixty thousand spirits. Awesome. Okay, so now uh, we are crusaders. And we need to be crusaders in order to enter castles. Um, so um, that's one thing we can do now. What happened to her? She's asleep. Oh, don't I have some some items to fix that? Oh, but they're all cursed. Huh? Okay, whatever. She'll wake up. Uncurse. So that is very important. I will not heal because um, I have this fountain here anyway. Ah, so now we can use uh, Horn of Awakening. Now she's up. And then if we drink this fountain, we restore our hit points. And now it's kind of time to get rid of all this equipment that we found. So most of most of that is just crap, but there might be a few things here and there. Sparking longbow. So this is another one of these things that I want to use to, to keep for the elemental damage. Plus three elemental damage. It's not, it's not two, two, five to ten damage, and this thing does six to ten. It's not. It's not. I might actually just equip it regularly. Because if you add the three electricity damage, it's better than the iron crossbow, isn't it? And then, so we got the silver cutlass that was doing what, 6 to 12? 6 to 12. And then we got the glowing broadsword, which does energy damage, but otherwise only 3 to 12. And this guy, 7 to 16, so that's great. I think I'm going to take that, and then I'm keeping this uh, acidic cutlass for elemental damage. And do we have anything useful here? Short uh, no, I don't think so. Um, so we got this interesting some venomous plate mail, but I cannot use them. Yeah, wooden stuff is bullshit, and plate mails I cannot wear. Splint mail. Yeah, this enchant I don't think did nothing. Maybe I should have cast it with my caster. Boots? Sparking boots. That probably gives me electricity resistance, doesn't it? Yeah. Plus one armor class. So it's better than the leather, boot leather boots. Um, to be fair. Wooden ring. Approach. They don't have anything. And then I don't think I need wizard's eyes. Yeah. Alright. No, I don't need that. Here we can equip the boots. The broadsword. And the longbow. And so I do not have levitate, do I? 
I do not have levitate. So I think I am impatient now and just want to go up to this. And we got we got the guild membership in River City anyway. We paid for it, so might just as well use it. See what they have. Levitate, yes. And oh my God, Lloyd's Beacon. Lloyd's Beacon is an awesome spell. So Lloyd's Beacon allows you to set it to some place where you are right now, and then later you can cast it again and and teleport back to that place where you've been before. Um, that is really useful. That's my only really kind of to teleport around to move quickly between between like to move quickly on the world because I'm not gonna have town portal either I'm not gonna have teleport so um white speaking is my only what else if you walk on water that's gonna be useful at some point turn on that 25 points of death that's, that's nothing I don't think it's good so power cue is awesome because this is like one of these healing spells that improves with your level. And now if you look power cure yeah, also eighteen. So basically basically if I have full spell points I can cast it twice. <laughs> yeah. Um so I will want to get a few more spell points eventually. But I will because I will be getting more intellect and, and personality and that will buff my spell points a bit more. And then I can hopefully cast power cure a bit more, a bit more often than just twice. Okay, for now let's get spell points here. And we're gonna go back to the tower. Toad Meadow. Um, because you can just explore the clouds there. And now that we've levitated. Those harpies were not so easy actually to defeat. So I hope, hope, hope we're fine without further with improvements. Okay, it is, it is 9 a.m., so it's a good time to cast Levitate. Okay, we're still far from leveling. Um, so. Levitate, right? Yeah, so up here also w one square takes only one minute of time and not ten. So the levitate spell will probably last us for as long as we're up here. We just really need to be careful to not step um, into the, the clear sky because otherwise we'll fall down. You are un unable to understand the strange runes. Oh, there is another skill that you need to read that kind of stuff, I think. Um, linguist. And I don't even remember where you get that. Uh, I think you get it in Castle Burlock. Maybe that should be our next stop anyway. Electric long sword. Oh. Oops. Oh. 
Wow. Okay. Zero hit points. You can revive her with that thing. Of course. Okay, that was a bit too much. That was a bit too much, so... Yeah, we need to take these harpies on one at a time. Speaking of which... Sword. Last time we got a long sword. I wonder if that changes. This is like this is a random thing. Every time you pick it up. What is that? Happiness destroyed. Yes. Five thousand experience. Yeah, I guess for these statues we will um so here's the thing normally you could just teleport to get like for example to the other side of the clouds here um in our situation it looks like we can just go there by walking the long way around and also if there's only one space in between we can use jump um but i'm not gonna do that now because there is there's another way It's not the music stopped, huh? Ah, this was this electric longsword. No, it's pearl longsword. Ember short sword dragon. Wow. This is not even maybe not even so bad. I should look at these more. Pearl longsword is probably also gonna be worth a lot. Oh no, I made that mistake before. Harpies like a headless chicken. Alright. Oh, there's more of them. Okay, so before they kill us, we will try lightning bolt to them. Okay, now we can also do a uh, power cure. Yeah, look, 120 spell, hit her health points again. It's a really good, really good uh, healing spell. And the time is 12 p.m. Still, sort of time. Only 5,000 experience for dealing with these nasty harpies, huh? Okay, we have been here on the other side. So I think this is entirely optional. Um, this cloud world here. And there might be... So maybe there's some useful information on these statues, but we cannot read them yet, so...
sword. Broadsword. Shocking broadsword. Oh, that sounds pretty good. I should check out which of these does the most elemental damage. <laughs> okay, so is there a way to get over there? Looks like it, yeah. Oh my god, no. That was so unnecessary again. And that missed. And now I'm running out of... Oh, let me try it and hit this thing. No, shit, okay. Alright, okay, I think it's game over. Yeah, I need to be a bit more careful here. This was again completely unnecessary. Okay. Okay, so here we were before already. Ah, and now this was a broadsword, huh? Which now might not be a shocking broadsword anymore. Now it's a frost broadsword. Oh, okay, I'll take that too. Yeah, so the thing is, when I actually have the time, I should. Pro it would probably be much better to um, use um, first aid because it's still a more efficient healing spell in terms of spell points. Um, right. Let's go up here, this is where we died last time. But this time we be just a bit more careful. Not take them all on at the same time. Alright. That's it. Four spell points then. Oh my god. Still not enough, huh? Okay, I think in that case what we're going to do is we're gonna rest. Wow. That was random. We are going to rest. Um, but in order to do that, we need to find a place where it is safe to do so. And I completely lost orientation. We need to go a bit more here east. Yeah. 
here. Okay, I'm resting. So now it's night. You know what? I'm just gonna rest again. That's the last thing I want to happen is that this levitate spell wears off. Um, and while I'm running around in these clouds. There's not too much more to be fair. So every time I load the game, the music stops, isn't it? Is that it's happening here? Wow, that was... I'm not gonna defeat the harpies if that happens. Okay, now I'm annoyed. No way to see that coming. Okay, so how are we gonna do this? I'm just gonna heal up a bit. So what Mr. Wizard's help does is it, uh, I think it teleports you back into town and um, you pay for it with all your gems or something like that. Come on! Die. Okay. Now there's at least one more, which we now were smart enough not to take on at the same time. Happy Queen, shit. Gonna defeat this Harpy Queen. Don't wanna go back again to have to rest. But I can at least spend all my spell points on healing. <sighs> there she is. And do I have any I have this um wand of sparking, yeah no. Good. Whoa. I guess not. Yes! Any more hoppies here? Maybe even another hoppy queen or... No. Hoppy nest, yes. Destroy. Only 5,000 for this shit, huh? Okay. Okay, I think we're not done up here. I am not going to take the shortcut all the way down. So in principle what you could do is you could just step on some of these uh, on one of these sky squares and what would happen is you would fall down and end up right next to the tower, but would, um, it would cost you a ton of hit points, and we don't want that Okay. <laughs> okay, so, um, so that's that, um, I think I'm gonna just stop here and continue next time. And I don't know yet what I'm going to do next time. I think um, 
maybe this um, this undead forest, and maybe we can step by uh, Castle Burlock as well. Um, so I think that's what I'm gonna do. Um, but for now, I'm gonna uh, take a break here. See you next time.